Hi, this is JC Wisdom of Building with Elegance and Grace dot com, and uh, it's a warm, sunny day in the Show Me State with the dogs barking. <laughs> and I uh, have recently uh, got a, a comment on one of my um, videos about about hair and how to get hair to grow and. You know, it made me think that, you know, and think back that, you know, I remember being on hair boards and I remember, um, actually, I think that's my stomping grounds. That's how I first started out, uh, on YouTube was with hair videos. I think my first video, uh, was a flexi rod video that had no, I mean, all it had was like captions and, and I think I got like over like 16,000 views on that photo, on that, on that video. And um, and I realized that early on, I can say in my hair journey, it was a lot about hair, you know, hair, you know, having hair be, you know, grow long and having long hair. And, and really when I, you know, over the years as, you know, as you learn and as you grow and I, and I remember watching the YouTube videos and watching YouTube video after YouTube video on hair and transitioning and all that kind of stuff. And, and I realized that in a nutshell it had to be my journey not someone else's journey because I found out that a lot of things that other people were doing it didn't necessarily work for me and then over trial and error and going through many different kinds of products and stuff like that that's how all of a sudden you know you find a regime that works for me and you know I also, and I also remember that um, there's three things that I think that if you're looking at a hair journey and looking at you know starting out your hair journey and, and really focusing on what you want for for your hair and and not just for your hair but for like your, your scalp your hair your body uh, number one you, you really need to think about like what what am I consuming what food am I eating you know am I am I eating too much starches am I eating too much sugar Am I eating enough fruits and vegetables? Those are the kind of things, you know, am I drinking enough water in my diet? Those are the kind of things you have to think about too. And then also, you know, am I, am I consulting my doctor on like what different vitamins or things like that I could take that, that I could take in, you know, in conjunction, you know, with, with a, a healthy, a healthy regime and, a, you know, help with a healthy body. Cause you know, what goes in comes out and uh, I think the w one thing I've heard, uh, which was a good, good saying about hair, is that whatever you feel comfortable putting on your body, you should be putting on your body. The lotion that you put on your body, or whatever you're putting on your body, you should be feeling comfortable putting that, putting, putting comfortable whatever you feel comfortable putting on your scalp. So, and then third, uh, third thing is that I think that you need to think about like what type of products are you using um, with the products that you're using now. Is it actually really growing? Does it seem like it's not just growing your hair, but does, is your hair healthy? Is it? Is it? Is does it seem like it's healthy? If if it's not, if it's not like what you want it to be, uh, I suggest that you write down like what are you eating? You know, are you consuming water? Are you exercising? Because exercising is just awesome, just for you know, just your whole mental physical status. And are you really uh, looking at what type of products that you're using? And do you need to choose things differently? Because I know the products that I used early on, I mean, a lot of products that, you know, my husband and I make a lot of like the products that I use for my hair that we use for, you know, on our, a lotion for our body. So those are the kind of things that you have to think about too, because uh, when I first started my hair journey, this was after shortly after my mother uh, had uh, uh, went to, my mother went to heaven and, and you know she was the only one that mainly did my hair and and my mother would actually press my hair and then after she would press my hair then she would braid my hair and put it in braids it wasn't like she washed my hair detangled moisturized and then braided my hair and that's how it always was it was always like you wash my hair and then she would press it and then she would put it in whatever style that would be and she she she's with the Lord and then it's like okay how, I don't know how to do my hair and so then you know I have an aunt that says well you want that you know that 
quote unquote white girl hair and I'm like okay what's that you know that hair that just kind of flows in the wind and you know flows in the wind and I was like hmm I said well I know my hair is not flowing in the wind so I said hmm, maybe let's try that now I had not and then so I got to relax so I got a relaxer and then what I realized too is that I could not keep that that stuff no I mean if you have a relaxer and your and your hair looks great and healthy great but it just didn't chemical chemical relaxers did not work for me I could barely keep them on like three minutes before I was like whoo you take this stuff off you know and so then I had to deal with the transitioning of the two textures and all that kind of stuff I did not do a big chop or anything like that it, it just eventually the the text the hair just um after so long my natural hair just came through so uh so i went through that and then i only was doing relaxers maybe like once or twice a year and then i was like well i could just do it you know go without it so i just went without it and i've been out without relaxers for probably at least the last gosh probably almost 10 years now so it's just a journey you know see because like what may work for me may not work for you so i always try to say that in my videos no matter whether it's perfume or if it's a hair care product or if it's a purse i always try to make sure to say that this worked for me it may not work for you but if you would want to try it more than welcome to try it and also i started trying to re really look at what ingredients were in the products that i used there were certain ingredients that i was like well i don't know if i want that on my scalp so then that's how I would change how I started researches and at researching and looking up things and uh, seeing you know that there were certain YouTube youtubers on there that had certain recipes and then maybe I would tweak them and add something different to them or something like that to fine-tune it for me so out of all this um, I will do a some I will start doing incorporating in some some hair some hair products that either hair products that are new or hair products that I had used like a long time ago and then just revisiting to say, well, would I really use them? I used them then, but would I use them now? Now, I'll make the, I'll make, I'll always make the quote too saying that even though, you know, it might've worked, it might work for me, it may not work for you, but you have to look first at what's, what you're taking, what you're taking inside before you can start seeing the what's going to be happening on the outside so kind of just do an assessment to check with your doctor uh see what thing you know what vitamins you think you can take or what vitamins that your doctor may think that you might want to take to incorporate it uh, for not just healthy hair growth but just health in general so i just wanted to give you a background on hair journey and um and how when it comes to if anyone tells you like well this works for me so it's definitely going to work for you that's not necessarily true. So you really have to test the product and see if the product works before you can actually really see if it's going to work for you or not. So I um, hope you enjoyed this uh, kind of walk down memory lane and, and hearing my doggies barking and everything. And so until next time, I'll be sharing more videos. And so I hope you're having a wonderful day. Blessings to you. And uh, remember to be elegant, be bold, and be you. And remember that God is for you. This is JT Wisdom.